when I had my first asthma attack, I was terrified, to be honest. I was scared because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know why I wasn't able to breathe. I didn't know anything. I was just known that I couldn't breathe. I was at work and somebody was smoking and it, it just got to me. I received a text message from Jameson and the text message said, where are you? And I said, I'm at home, why? And he said, well, I'm trying to get air. And I knew that that was not a good sign. So I called my mother and she came and got me and took, took me to the hospital. And so I turned my flashers on, my emergency lights on, like, like it was a siren, I guess, because I was driving fast. And I just held his hand because it was very scary. And I just held his hand and I told him just squeeze it every now and then, just so I know that he's breathing. I didn't want him to talk, because I wanted him to save as much breath as he could. Within a matter of minutes, they had him hooked up to an IV, they had um, the nebulizer hooked up, had him on a breathing treatment, continuous breathing treatment, and um, they were just doing everything they could to open up his lungs. When I was in the hospital, I was there for about three to four days, and I wanted to go home, but then again, I didn't because I knew in the hospital there was no smoking. And outside of the hospital, there was a lot of smoking, and I didn't want to have to go through that again. Secondhand smoke exposure triggers my son's severe asthma attacks.